Okay, this is the most blue, crystal clear water I've ever seen in my life. It is so beautiful. Lloyd and Mandy, we're digital nomads currently traveling the world in search of somewhere we can call our forever home. We've spent the last couple weeks on the island of Shigao in the Philippines, and today we're going to explore the surrounding islands. Good morning from beautiful Shigao. We're just finishing up our breakfast at a place called Wave Espresso. Green. Oh, it's just Wave Espresso over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or Green Wave. Green Waves Cafe. Okay. <laughs> At a place called Green Waves Cafe. Uh, we've got a little bit of a flat tire on our scooter, so we're just waiting for that to get fixed. I'm just gonna hang out here for a little while until that happens. But we're heading out on a private boat today. Hopefully, we have a book one. Yeah. That's the plan anyway, and we're gonna go check out some of the other islands that are around us. Um, the weather's incredible today, really turning it on for us. I'm very excited. Just excited to see what else there is around. We've pretty much been getting into routine since we've been here, so haven't seen too much other stuff off of the island, but I think it's gonna be really fun. Um, not sure how much a private boat is, but I guess we'll find out soon. All right, well, we got lucky. We managed to find a boat tour because our motorbike guy who we rented the scooter off um, does tours as well. So he actually quoted us 2,700 pesos for the two of us. But then when we got here, we realized we misunderstood and it was 2,700 each. So it's a little bit more expensive than we thought, but it is a private tour. It includes lunch and it goes all day. So we're just going to do it. I think it'll be worth it. Okay, this is the most blue, crystal clear water I've ever seen in my life. It is so beautiful. We're at a beach called Naked Beach at the moment. It's pretty busy, but it's pretty stunning. So just so you guys know, when we hit 100,000 subscribers, we're gonna be giving away one of our drones that we use for all of our drone footage. It's a DJI Mini SE. It's been great for us, and we wanna give you guys the chance to win one. So if you're new here, comment down below, subscribe so we know that you're here. And as soon as we hit 100,000 subscribers, one, one of you guys will be walking away with one of these. There's the prettiest corals here. I wish I had a home so I could take some home with me. But if I did, probably would have adopted seven dogs by now and um, the house would be full of shells and corals so probably a good thing that I don't. I think that has to be the nicest water I've ever swam in in my life. I see why it's so busy here. Uh, I think we're gonna head off to the next island. Do you know the name of it? Don't know the name of it but we'll find out when we get there. <laughs>
we just arrived at Daco Island. Is that how you say it? That's how he said it, so. It's probably wrong. <laughs> Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But we found somewhere that we can get some. Oh, it says Daku. Daku. Anyway, <laughs> we found somewhere that we can um, get some rum. So we're gonna get some for us and the guys on the boat. And they're cooking us some lunch, which is really nice. Some seafood. Excited. <laughs> Pretty cool. Our guide, I guess. I've forgotten his name, but he's the same guy who we got a motorbike off, so I'm gonna leave his details down below. But he's just going to prepare our food for us. He's got lots of seafood, I'm not sure what else. Um, and I think we're gonna have a rum and just relax here for a bit. I don't know how long we got here. He said this is gonna go till 4 o'clock, it's like 10.30. I don't think it'll be that late, but I think we can chill out here as long as we want, really. So far, it's pretty cool. If I'm not sunburnt by the end of today, it'll be a miracle. <laughs> it's so hot, but it's so good. There's a beach volleyball set up over there. I'm thinking maybe me and Mandy team up <laughs> and take some of these locals at volleyball. What do you reckon? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> when was the last time you played volleyball? Oh man, years and years and years. Ah, used to love volleyball, but yeah, it's been a long time. I don't think I'd even know how to serve it anymore. <laughs> I'll probably blow my back out or something. <laughs> wow, I was not expecting my phone to be working out on this random remote island. But I'm very thankful that it is. I was able to upload some Instagram stories, which actually brings us to today's video sponsor, Olafly. In case you don't already know, Olafly is an international eSIM shop for more than 130 destinations. It's simple to set up and provides 4G connection around the world. You connect to the internet just by scanning a QR code and you'll never have to pay roaming fees again. This is probably the number one travel hack we've discovered since we started traveling through Southeast Asia about nine months ago. We know how frustrating it can be when you land in a new country and you don't have any data and you gotta look for things like a taxi, uh, you gotta use your Google Maps. And honestly, the last thing I feel like doing when I've been traveling all day and going through customs, and immigration is looking for a SIM card shop so that I have data just so I can get to my hotel. And in the first few days, I really don't want the hassle of having to do that either, which is why we've started using Olafly. Oftentimes when you're going through immigration as well, they need you to pull up documents or emails, maybe even proof of your flight out of the country or your hotel. So it's good to be able to access those things as soon as you get off the plane. Yeah, the best thing about Olafly is you can activate it and purchase it before you even leave the country you're traveling from. And as soon as you land, like you literally be on the plane and your phone will start working. You can select just one destination that you're going to, or you can do it for an entire continent, which we've done for Asia. Once you complete the purchase, you'll be sent the eSIM within minutes to your chosen email address. And from there, all you have to do is scan the QR code and follow the instructions. We actually purchased our last eSIM while we were in Vietnam because we knew we were gonna be traveling to Singapore, Malaysia, and then the Philippines. And we actually used the same SIM card the whole time, which we're still using now. Olafly is compatible with most smartphone models, including Apple iPhones, Samsung Galaxy, and Google Pixel. If you're unsure, you can check on their website to see if your phone is compatible. If you are interested in checking out Olafly for yourself, uh, we'll leave a link down below in the description. And just remember to use code Lloyd and Mandy and you'll get 5% off your purchase. Okay, now back to the video. Probably the best thing about this drone, it's really small so you can fit it in your suitcase, but you don't have to register it in a lot of countries. Like the Philippines, if it's under 250 grams, um, you don't have to register it, so that's why it's so good for travel. Here we go. Hi. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, you even spelled shig out. Oh my God, that's so much food. <laughs> I was not expecting this. Yeah. <laughs> Look at it. Can I just take a picture first? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this lunch that they just brought to us is incredible. They actually spelled out Shigao with the rice. It looks so good. It's massive. Oh my god. We're going to have to get some of these boys to eat with us, I think. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> it's so good, isn't it? I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting like. 
a little picnic or something. Yeah. It's like a buffet. I know. <laughs> Seafood, chicken, rice, fruit. It's so good. We're not going to eat it all. No. Tonton, you're going to have yeah, to eat a bit. I... Yeah. <laughs> okay, I was wondering why I was feeling extra tipsy after one beer. <laughs> we just realized that these red horse beers are 6.9%. And I'm already a bit of a lightweight. <laughs> um, so after one, yeah. Probably don't need too many more today. <laughs> so our driver's name is Tonton. We'll leave his uh, contact details down in the description if you're interested in booking with him. Like Lloyd said, we got our scooter as well as this awesome tour all to ourselves through him. Uh, he's been awesome and very helpful, so we'll leave him in the description if you're interested in doing this tour. small <laughs> and it is very small but I think it might be my favorite one we've been to so far it's so cute we're just going to find um, the bar <laughs> we're on the rum train and beer train today <laughs> this one's pretty epic eh? it's so cool it's pretty perfect yeah I think it's my favorite for There's sure a basketball room over there. should we play some basketball might have to So we don't, we don't usually do group tours, or tours in general, but this one's been pretty good. I think because it was private and we can just pick and choose when we want to pack up and leave to the next spot. That's what we like about it. Kind of expensive, but it was pretty much worth it because of, just because of the food we got. This has definitely been our favorite island that we spent time on. The only thing that we would probably complain about was they had no ice. <laughs> No, they did have ice when we ordered rums, but not, the beers are really warm, which everyone knows not my favourite thing. <laughs> um, so we had to ask a few times for some ice. Yeah, we had to basically barter for ice for the beers, but it ended up okay. It was pretty good. It was yeah. pretty awesome. Um, we just chilled out here. There's volleyball and basketball and a bar and they have music. Um, it's kind of like where you go at the end of the trip to just relax in a lounge chair and have a few drinks as food as well if you want uh yeah it's a good end to the trip it's like really good three o'clock now it's starting to get a bit overcast i think we're gonna head back and um actually we'll probably go to our favorite bar on the beach yeah just, just to finish to, off the day yeah 